you so much uh, for the introduction. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to thank you all for being here uh, this two days. I hope uh, you find it very fruitful. Like what Gav said, you know, let your imagination rule. You can do a lot of things with 3D printing, but let's look at the possibilities. Actually, I'd like to uh, thank you, said Gav, uh, very much because without her support, Back in 2016, when we just started a pilot training program for 3D printing at Case Western, where um, a number of you, a, a number of uh, professors actually trained in my lab in 3D printing, that provided a lot of the context and planning for the Additive Manufacturing Center in the Philippines. And uh, of course, uh, with uh, Together in partnership with ITDI, with uh, MIRDC, with uh, Engineer uh, Dizon and uh, Director Briones, this uh, uh, AMSEN is uh, ably led by uh, Dr. Basilia and Engineer Lisa. So again, uh, let me give you, let's give them a round of applause for all their uh, hard work and leadership. So when get, get Father, I, I really felt old, no? So, uh, uh, although I'm, I'm really honored that that term was used, uh, I think uh, engineer Fred like like to call me big brother. So you can call me brother, you can call me uncles for some of you. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I would of course like to acknowledge uh, different uh, groups represented here from academia, from uh, the armed forces, from industry, uh, even high school, and I'll tell you some stories about how I have mentored high school students and why this is a great uh, capacity.